These little ass juice boxes. What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Because why are you watching if you're not subscribed? Please tell me. Okay, that's right. So hit the subscribe button. But today, I'm going to show y'all my $10,000 shoe collection. So let me stop talking and let's get into it. Poke it up, bad bitch. Poke it up, poke it up, poke it up. Bad ass, poke it up, poke it up, poke it up. So we're going to start with the Vans. And then I'm going to wait to show y'all my heat at the end. And if it looks like I can't see because these eyelashes are big as hell, I can see it. Mind your business. Oh, dab on them. <laughs> but these, um, obviously some black regular slip-on vans. You know, black goes with everything. You gotta have a couple pairs of black shoes. Cause why not? Then I got these yellow checkered vans. They're actually super dirty. I can't remember the last time I wore these, but these are toe up. These are toe up too. These pink slip-on bands. Obviously, I used to wear bands a lot because they're cheap and why not just tear them up? Red slip-on checkered bands. They're so beautiful. They got other little colors in it. You can wear whatever. You can just, I just, I call these the rugrats. More multicolored slip-on bands. You can obviously tell I haven't worn these. No, I actually wore these once. Just to take a picture and then, yeah, never wear them again. These white checkered vans, ooh, these were so nice when I saw these. I just had to get them, but I wore them once when I was in Vegas, like, two months ago. And they were so toe up. I cleaned them a little bit, but, yeah, you can see it's kind of dirty at the top still. But, yeah, I definitely tear up my white shoes. Next, if you have vans, you have to have the classic vans. I mean, who don't have these vans? Who? We got the Yacht Clubs. These are so bomb. I wanted these forever. I could never get them. They're always sold out. I finally got them like three, four months ago. Um, never wore them because I don't have nowhere to go. I know where to wear them. Probably ain't got an outfit to go with it. Yeah. And these are velvet. These are so nice. They actually have a low top one of these. But yeah, I don't know. I wore these. Maybe once. I, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I wore these to the club once, okay? These are my worst pair of bands because these are ugly. I just hate the high top bands. I just, they don't look right on my feet personally. You can tell I only wore them once. The freaking sticker is still on, but yeah, these are so ugly. Yeah, um, I'm probably never gonna wear them again. Alright, now I'm just about to get into some random shoes, some Nikes, Adidas. Let's go. Lighting it. Bamber Max. These are hot. Okay. These are really nice, and these are actually really comfortable, because like this, it's like a Balenciaga sock, and then you got the little bubbles on the bottom, so you feel like you're walking in the cloud, for sure. These Air Maxes, it kind of looks like a sun. Um, I don't really wear these, but I just thought they were really cute, and I have a sweater to go with them. These Air Maxes, I don't know why I bought them. They look cute, but on my feet, they look like fucking moon boots, so I do not wear these. I wear them like two or three times. <laughs> look, this is how you know I have, I do not wear these. They look so clean. The bottom's clean, like, I do not wear these. These, y'all know what these need to go? These need to go back to the moon. These are um, The Human Races by Pharrell Williams. These are like a Balenciaga sock too. And they smell good, so I just put them in my washer, like y'all should be doing with y'all Yeezys. But yeah, um, the only thing I don't really like, but it's fixable, is these come like all like that, and they come with more laces. Um, first off, who wants they foot that damn tight in a shoe? Not I. But yeah, that's I don't. You gotta really loosen these up if you're gonna wear these. But yeah, these are so cute. I really want more of these. I want the black ones or a different color. But yeah, these are hella comfortable. But they're kind of hard to get in because this is kind of tight. Like, I actually broke hella nails just trying to get this shoe on. These little ugly ass Adidas Originals, I wore these once for a family vacation because we all had matching shoes and Adidas track suits, and I never wore them again. Adidas Campus. And another color. This is like a peachy color, minty color. Only reason why I got these, y'all probably like, damn, this is ugly as hell. 
Only reason why I got these is because they was on set. I literally got these for $10. So why not? Other than that, they're ugly. All right, let's get into some Jordans. These are the Dream It Do It 2019. Honestly, I do not wear these. I hate these shoes, mainly because it's so hard to get your damn foot in. Like, for what? Like, look at this. Because this part right here, like, every time I try to put my foot in, it goes like this. Like, no, I don't wear these. Like, I don't even know why I bought them. These are worth $225. They should be worth zero. These gym reds, I do not wear, even though they look hella dirty. They're too big for me. I got a too big size, but I don't wear them. And they're uncomfortable. Like, what Jordan is it? The bread fours. These are a classic. Y'all gotta have these in the colorway. Come on now. These are worth $340. The black cat fours were $290. Once again, all black. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. I think these ones are actually more comfortable than the breads. It's so weird because all Jordans fit so differently. Like, these are fours, right? They don't feel the same. They don't. When you wear them, they definitely don't. These are the do 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 SpongeBob Kyrie's. You heard? I love these, but they are so tight. If you have a pair of Kyrie's, or even if you don't and you want to get a pair of Kyrie's, get like two sizes bigger because this is a whole size up and they're still so small. Like they are so tight. Like these are really give you some bunions. <laughs> okay. These are worth $228. These are the Mamba Mentality Kyrie's. I don't wear them. Y'all want to know why? Because I actually got them for a gift when my mom was on vacation. This one is a size 9. The right shoe is a size 9.5. Like, these already run small. Like, I wore them once just to wear them. You know, try it out. Didn't work out. Definitely didn't work out. These are worth $250, though. These infrared sixes are worth $275. I love the infrared colorway. They definitely need to come out with more because every time infrared comes out, like it's definitely a hit. And I actually got these last year on the second release. So the first release is sold out quick. And then it, they came with like a little surprise second release. And that's when I got these. But these are definitely a hit. Come on now, don't step on my all white G phase those. This is actually one of my pairs. I have two. Um Come on, you can't go wrong with no G Bezos. The bottoms are dirty as heck. But I mean, I don't use force fields. Do y'all use force fields? Isn't that what they're called? Yeah, whatever. But they're no, I think this is my newer pair because they're not really creasing the front. But these are a must-have. Then I got these pink snake skins. I love these. These are actually a woman's shoe. Um, these are so bomb. Like I just love the snake skin. Yeah. And I also got the blue ones, but I don't really wear these ones because these ones actually squeak. I don't know why. It's not this foot. Oh, wow. This is not the left shoe. But whatever. These squeaks are. I don't wear them, and I don't know why they squeak. It's the left shoe that squeaks, but yeah. All right. Next, we have the Yeezys. These are the triple whites worth $324. Um, these are actually my first pair of Yeezys that I ever got. I got lucky and got them online. All my other Yeezys I got in the store, but you know, you can't go wrong with some white shoes. Um, they look really clean because all my Yeezys I put in the washer. Like, I don't see how people walk around with dirty ass Yeezys. Put that shit in the washer. Let me put y'all on. Just put the little spray shit, the little shout, or whatever. Let it soak. Let it marinate a while, okay? And then, you know, you start, you start the washer. Let the water rise up, and then you just throw that bitch in there. <laughs> like, and if it's still dirty, repeat steps one and two. And I got the triple black Yeezys. I love these because they're black. Honestly, I wear these every single day since quarantine. I've been wearing these every single day. Every day. These are worth four hundred and ten dollars. Next, I got the Lud Marks. Where did they get that name from? I don't know. Then I got the Yeez Reels. I love these because they are so bright and I love slime green. These are worth $244. Next, I got the Clouds. They're worth $298. These are so cute. The blue. These actually look really different online. They look like 
a dark purple but then in person it's like oh this is literally a sky blue like the camera makes it look so different but they're really sky blue this is hot these look good but like a light jean jacket you, oof. Oh, you be stepping in these hoes. My last pair of Yeezys are the Zebras. These are worth $295. These are a must have for your Yeezy collection. I only wear 350s, obviously, but I want to start getting, you know, like the 500, 700, the other ones. I'm really Yeezy gang. Like, I tell myself I'm only buying Yeezys this year. I'm trying to get my Yeezy game up. And they're comfortable. I hate wearing Jordans. They're so comfortable. Like, these, I can. I can run in these. I have a bunch more shoes. Like I got a bunch of Harachis. Um, Harachis. Harachis. I don't know. I got more shoes. They're just like regular schmegula shoes. Or I just don't know where they are. Or they're downstairs. They're in the garage. I don't feel like getting them. But... That's all I'm about to show y'all. So that's it for my $10,000 shoe collection. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the video, let me know what you want to see, all of that. And I'm out like a light. Like a light.